Yeah, I guess um, it's been weighing on my mind on the off-season, really. Uh, the finish we had with a WNCL will win um, was a fantastic way to sort of finish up. And, yeah, I'd really been toying with the idea of, um, you know, can I go around again next year and have the same, you know, 120%. Um, and I guess... Yeah, it really, it really played on my mind in the off-season and having full-time work and trying to give 120% there as well, you know, something just really had to give and unfortunately it's had to be the WNCL. Yeah, look, I think the girls have, um, have really grown up, um, certainly in the last three years that I've been leading them. There's plenty of girls in there and, and let alone the, what we call our younger girls. I think they're all, you know, 18 years plus now and they've played three or four seasons under their belt. So I wouldn't be surprised if, um, yeah, you'd see a lot of, lot of players taking the, the ball by the horns this year. Um, I've had an unbelievable career with cricket. Um, I've had some great memories. Um, debuting for Australia was right up there. Um, our, our win in Sri Lanka in 2012 with the World Cup as well was a fantastic memory. Um, scoring your first hundred is always magic, but certainly I think you know being at home with these girls and winning the title. You know you, you train hard with these girls day in day out, and they're your, your real true mates that have been there from from day one. So I think the the Scorps win is certainly probably going to top all of them at the moment.